Obviously, we were, uh, you know, disappointed in our start uh, of the game, uh, and I would they they got after us. They were very aggressive, uh, switched a lot of things, took us out of our stuff. Uh, we did not respond very well. It took us a while. Uh, you know, tail of the, uh, the two halves, the second half, uh, we were much more aggressive. Um, you know, took it to them and gave ourselves a chance to have uh, a shot to take the lead. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a long bomb, but you know when Nigel shoots the ball, you, you think you have a chance. And uh, you know, but you know the the difference. I, I we were watching it with the players yesterday, and uh, the announcers that were doing the game. You know, one said if you know that those layups early may cost you later if it's a, a close game at the end, which it came up to be a close game, and. And then they also, he said, uh, if we would have rebounded, uh, you know, we would probably be winning the game on the offensive end and, or on, the, on their offensive end. They had too many points off second chance points and uh, it made the big difference. Uh, you know, now can we, um, you know, come with a little more passion and, and fight from the beginning of the game? And uh, I think it's obviously it's a learning um it's a learning process, uh, and you know it's uh, uh, you know that it, it, we just you know we still have a, a new young team, and then but we do know as coaches the league is the best, and every game is going to be hard, and you're going to have to come ready now. Home game against the top twenty team in Texas on Tuesday night. Thank you, Coach. Uh, first question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach. Um, what was the problem with Casey and Davion against Oklahoma? Do you think against Texas you'll have a better matchup for them? Well, I, I don't – some of the game was just – I guess it was a little quick for them. I don't know. Uh, Casey never really got involved. He got fouls, uh, you know, and that, that, that hurt him. Davion had some opportunities, obviously – you know, just making some layups, being strong with the ball uh, could have made a big difference for us. Uh, he, had, he had been making some progress and uh, feeling pretty good about him. And, and you know, he didn't, he didn't give us enough. You know, if you're going to win games on, on the road, you're going to win in this league, uh, you got to have everybody play, you know, at least good basketball. You know, Mark has a special game. I don't, Tom, I don't know if you released it. You said first time in the history um, that anyone at K-State got 25 points, 15 rebounds, and five assists. So Mark has the special game. Um, you know, Nigel steps up in the second half, Ish makes some shots, but you needed a little more from, from some other people if we're going to have, a, you know, again, a chance to beat. Uh, you know, if you look at the net ratings, they're all up there. So uh, it's, nothing's going to be easy. And, you know, they are bigger. Texas is bigger. Uh, you know, but they, their big guys are pretty good. So, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, that, that part of it, uh, you know, we're going to have to deal with it. And then how do you feel about, um, you know, the small ball that you do, did run against Oklahoma? It seemed to, to work in the second half, but obviously rebounding can be an issue at times too. Yeah. You know, it, it, we've done it during the year, uh, not to that extent. Uh, we've done it at end of games. We, you know, we've done it different times. Uh, you know, it, obviously with Mark rebounding the basketball like he is, you know, he's been like a power forward to be honest. And uh, you know, it helps there. But we need we need some other guys to step up and get you know get their nose dirty and and get some rebounds. But uh, we we're pretty effective. They they kind of created. Uh, the small ball, they went small first. So we had to match that. And then obviously we had some success with that and we kind of stuck with it. And then last thing I got for you is uh, just give us a preview on Texas and what we should expect from them this year. Well, they're obviously they got talent. Uh, I mean, they, you got three of the better guards, experienced guards in the country. Uh, they got some, you know, big guys that are talented and athletic. Um, you know, and, you know, they, they have, it's, they're a funny team. Um, you know, it's, it, they dominated some games, other games kind of, 
it's been kind of a little bit up and down and, and, you know, we, we know we're going to get it. They're going to coach Beard's teams. always come and play hard. Uh, they're aggressive. Uh, they're physical. The rebounding is going to be a big factor uh, with their bigs. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to match that, that intensity and also that uh, inside presence that they have. I actually did forget. Um, uh, do you have an update on Marquise Noel? I, you know, to be honest, um, we, um, we don't know yet because the, the big 12 doctors uh, have not, uh, you know, finalized anything. I think if you see the Dr. Fauci came out with something, the CDC, you know, they're at reanalyzing the five days and a negative test. I think all the schools are kind of waiting to see what happens. So Marquise uh, did get in the gym by himself, uh, worked out um, yesterday for the first time. So, uh, you know, he's getting bet, he's getting through the quarantine, but uh, I don't know when he'll be back because we don't have any final word on that, the, the number of days. Thank you, Coach, and Happy New Year. I forgot to tell you a couple Thank days. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, next question to Dylan Sherwood. Go ahead, Dylan. No, oh. Yeah, Bruce, uh, you know, with Chris taking over that program, uh, you know, he was at he was at Tech the last couple of years. Uh, what do you think he kind of is bringing to that program, you know, at Texas for placing Shaka? Well, obviously he's done, a, he did an unbelievable job at Tech. He revitalized that program, got the, the culture, the energy going. Uh, the, the, it went, when I first got in the league, it was, you know, there was no one in the stands to where it was one of the toughest venues to play in. Um, you know, their aggressive defensive style, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure he has, quite that with the guys he has right now they're still good defensively but it's a little different than he did at tech uh, you know and then it, it's you know it's one of the better jobs in the country there's no doubt and he's uh they're going to get players and and you're going to have to compete with them and if he can get get elite players and get them to play like he's done at tech um they're going to get that thing rolling there's no doubt about it and you mentioned about you know they have size and everything and how important is it to get off to a faster start than what you guys did in Oklahoma? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we have, you know, whether it's Wichita or Nebraska or Oklahoma, uh, you know, even some of the home games. And, you know, we, we've been talking as a staff, how can we help them? Uh, you know, offensively, we, you know, we just, uh, you know, we, we actually tried to go to Nigel a couple of times right away. Um, you know, we just thought what the, you know, get him going. A lot of times I try to get other guys going because Nigel can get some points on his own. Um, and, and this time we were like, let's get Nigel the ball. And, and, you know, we didn't have very good success early and, and we still, it was 17 to 10 and we had made a pretty good run and, and, you know, you have layups and, you know, you make those layups and it's a whole different, uh, ball game. So, um, you know, there's no doubt that's the number one thing we talked about coming out with that fire in your belly, that passion right from the get go uh, when we have that tip off on, on Tuesday night. Thanks, Bruce. Yep. Uh, next question to Arnie Green. Yeah, I was also going to ask about Marquise, but just was curious anybody else uh, going to be on or are you in pretty good shape otherwise? Uh, to be honest, every day is a new adventure. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I know it, it, we're, you know, any symptom, whatever, we have to get our guys tested. So I'd like to tell you it's just Marquise, but era, like I say, every day it's a new challenge, new adventure. If you keep seeing my phone ding, it's because there's always something coming up. Um, so it's, uh, it's a, you know, college basketball, you know, whatever whatever sport it is, NFL, whatever, right now, it's, uh, you know, every day is, is a new challenge. Thanks. Yep. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. 
Hey, Bruce, I don't recall exactly when you said this. I feel like it was maybe right before Thanksgiving, but you had said that you would hope that uh, as long as there were no setbacks or what have you, that that uh, Davion, you'd hoped around Christmas would be back to 100%. And obviously, you know more about it than me, but, but he, he doesn't seem like he's completely back yet. I mean, how far away would you say he still is from being, you know, the Davion we thought the end of last season? Yeah, you know, I think he's worked very hard. Um, uh, extra almost every day except for game days he's come in on his own he wants to do well um, you know the other day he just seemed to be a, a step behind uh, you know it's just I'm not sure exactly what it was and and you know he still is a freshman um, we all remember at the end of the year last year he, he played pretty good basketball uh, you know the I, I, there's no doubt the breathing still is is a factor his conditioning from the pneumonia and, uh, you know, it's, you know, all we can do is just keep them help, keep being positive with him and uh, help him, encourage him and, and hope he'll continue to work hard and things will start clicking for him. Uh, next question, Arnie, do you have any other thing else? Sorry, no. Uh, next question to, to Missy Heidrick. Hey, Coach. Um, as you look at this Texas team, you know, they're averaging uh, somewhere in the vicinity of, you know, a little over 70 points a game. So how do you see your guys? What's going to be the defensive philosophy? What are the keys there for you tomorrow night? Well, it's, it's keeping the ball out of the paint. I think that's a, a key thing, you know, whether – you know, on their drives and their post feeds, um, their ISOs, their rebounding. Uh, we we got to do a good job on that. And, you know, you you would hope that we, you know, we get 69 the other day and, and on the road, you, you hope that you're pretty close to having a chance. And obviously we did, but, um, you know, it, a few more, probably a little better defensive execution and maybe make a couple of layups, keep them off the boards, uh, now you got you have a chance, and and it's it's probably it's going to be different. It's different people, but you know that's it's always going to be a key. Staying in front of them, uh, their ISOs, their their drives, their post ups, their and and keeping them off the glass. Uh, that's that's what they do. He, Coach Beard, allows a lot of freedom, and uh, we're going to have to do a good job one on one defense when you flip the switch and go the other direction, as you think about how you want to attack their defense, you know, they're going to be up in you. You're going to maybe see it full court, three quarter court. What's the message to your guys in terms of execution? It's, it's interesting because the other day they pressed West Virginia. Um, they hadn't done that every game. You know, there's different games though. They, they press, there's different games though. Ice ball screens, there's different games though. Uh, you know, keep people on the side, you know, they kind of change uh, every game a little bit like Oklahoma. So we're, you know, it's a little bit of a guessing game, but, uh, you know, we, we didn't turn it over a whole bunch. Uh, we had some bad possessions in the first half and the second half. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can be a little more efficient, get a few better shots. Um, and, and there's no doubt when we track it, when we get to the paint, we usually we score at a pretty good clip, and that's got to be the key. I think it was sixty percent against Oklahoma, and when we didn't get to the paint, it's twenty five percent efficiency. Okay. Thanks, Missy. Anything else for Coach before I let him go? Okay, Coach. Thank you for the time. I appreciate it. All right. Have a great day.